Ooh, allergies. I'm like, do I need to take an allergy pill? Sheesh, I promise I'm not crying. My eyes are watering. Okay, I think I'm gonna take an allergy pill. I thought I took one to kind of help drain my sinuses, but clearly. Mm -mm. All right, let me go take an allergy pill, y'all. <sighs> Sheesh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we have a new foundation that I wanna play with. I know, I'm just jumping right in. Hey, how are you? How's everybody today? Um, we are playing with a new foundation. This one is from Patrick Ta. I'm super excited. Yes, to get up into this. I also have some of his lips. I got a lip combo in mind that I wanna try. So, um, oh, also we have this um, Embrolease um, moisturizer and primer. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this. So I wanted to try it out. I did try it out in New York, I feel like. Um, but we're gonna try it out again here on a sit down, me and you type of a vibe. I also want to try out again, well I've tried this out in New York as well, but I wanted to use it in a video. This is the Fenty um, Mattifying Translucent Powder. So we have a few new things to play with and I'm ready to play. So if you would like to see what look I create and if this Patrick Ta foundation is worth it, please keep on watching. All right, so my brows are already on. We're gonna go ahead and prime the skin. I'm gonna be trying this Embrulisa um, primer. I've been hearing a lot of great things about this, especially on Amazon. This is like a hit on Amazon, so we gonna put it to the test. I got the Embrulisa Multifunction Base. Um, I think I just got the regular one, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. A little goes a very long way, so like that amount. All right, so we're gonna go into this Patrick Ta foundation. This is the Patrick Ta Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. A very long name. Okay. Um, the color that I got is 24N. So let's go ahead and so let's go ahead and open it. Love his packaging, it's very pretty. And this is what the bottle looks like. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. Super luxe, it's actually very heavy. Um, and this is like a gold plate and then it's embroidered on there. Um, and then the sticker is underneath. So this is a very pretty packaged foundation. It is definitely weighted. His Patrick Ta logo is up top. It comes with the pumps. I'm just gonna do, let's start off with one, two. Okay. Oh, this is 10. Hold oh, please. Sorry y'all. Gotta, adulting is hard. Okay, anyways. All right, so here's the pump. We're gonna go ahead and swatch a swoop, swatch a swoop, swatch a few. I think I'm going to do like one side so we can see how much coverage it gives compared to the other. Let's go in. Well, I'm gonna start with a brush. This is 24 in, and I'm not gonna lie. When I swatched it in store, oh, this is a little too deep. But when I swatched it in store, I loved the color. Oh, well, you know what? I'm actually, I don't know, guys. I like the color. I'm not even gonna hold you. I probably could go down one shade, especially since fall is coming up. I feel like I definitely could go, well, fall, winter, I could definitely go down one shade. And then also the coverage is initially light medium because as you can still see, a little blemish, nothing major, but I do love the coverage that it gives down here. And I also like the luminosity of it. It is definitely a glowier foundation. Hands down on the glowier side. So if you don't like glow, I don't think this is going to be for you. Enhance your natural radiance with this luminous medium coverage foundation. Lightweight, hydrating, and infused with three types of hyaluronic acid plus squalene and fermented kombucha. This formula blends seamlessly and blurs imperfections for a glowy skin-like finish. I told 
told y'all one, okay? It's these allergies. Gosh, this is ghetto. All right, so this is what we're looking like with one layer on. Very pretty, it's definitely very skin-like. I definitely could go down a shade. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about going down to I think it's like 23. I will say what I really did love about his launch, he had a lot of colors for us. So he's very, it was very heavy on that side of the spectrum, which not a lot of brands do initially. So I'm gonna pop a picture of um, his range because I'm gonna pop a picture of his range of colors for us because I really do think he did a phenomenal job with range. Like Chef's Kiss, he did a really good job. And I love that I'm not orange, even though um, typically when brands or companies do deeper shades, it's very, very warm. He did really good with like the neutrals and the olives. I feel like this is a very good neutral color, um, but not like neutral green, if that makes sense. So, so far, so good. I love how it looks. So I'm gonna do one more pump and I'm just gonna build up and blend it out with a sponge to see how it blends out with a sponge. Just it's kind of smoothing it over. Hold on. We're gonna go with Pat McGrath concealer. All right, so while that is setting on the face, we're gonna go in and bronze up with the Danessa Myricks. Um, what is this, the Yummy Skin Balm? And I'm gonna use number 10. Just along my forehead. We're gonna go ahead and blend out. And this Pat McGrath concealer is on the medium matte side, medium to full coverage concealer with a matte finish. Um, so I really do love her concealers because they give a really good coverage without it looking heavy or cakey. It just kind of melts into the skin, which I love. All right, so now we're gonna set. I'm gonna go into this Fenty Matte Powder, and I'm just gonna use a powder puff and set underneath my eye. I've really been loving this powder, um, just to kind of set it, not to, not add any more coverage per se to it, but literally just to set. What happened? All right, so we're gonna go in with the LYS bronzer in strength. And this is more of a natural bronze bronzer on me. For eyes, I'm gonna go in with this Natasha Denona thing. I'm not gonna do anything crazy because I really want this to be focused on um, the foundation. So we're just gonna use this palette. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Starlet Palette. I'm gonna first go in with, what is this shade? 
the Vega. Okay, so yeah, so nude mauve. Mm, Galaxia. I'm gonna go in with Vega, which is the middle one. It's like a, a pink shade. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. There we go. So it is this one right here. It's like a little mauvey pink. This one, and just kind of press this all over the lid. In the inner corner. Oh, that's a pretty color. She really do like this color. Okay. I wasn't expecting to, I don't wanna say love it, but love it. It's a very pretty color. I'm gonna go in with this one called Ray. I think that's what it's called, Rhea, Ray, R Ray, Rhea, something like that. I'm gonna do that one on the inner corner of the eye. I feel like I haven't done an inner corner highlight in it. I'm gonna take this Artist Couture palette, the Matte's Masterpiece, and go in with Create. And blend it on the outer corner. I'm gonna go with the Givenchy blush. This one is in Flano Rufus, number six. All right, so I'm gonna line my lips. We're gonna try this little lip combo out. I'm gonna be using three different liners. The Glossier, um, is this Nip? No, Glossier Bare Lip Liner with the MAC Chestnut. And then I'm gonna, ooh, and then I'm gonna deepen a little bit with the Makeup Forever in Ebony. For lipstick, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury in MI Kiss. And kind of to top off the glow of it, I'm gonna use Want Her from Patrick Ta. They only they give you an order number. Right. 
this is the completed look. I love how it came out. I really love his foundation. I think if you are normal to dry or if you like a glowy light, well, medium coverage, light medium coverage, you will love that foundation. I love his range for us chocolate women. That Patrick Ta foundation is very, very beautiful. The packaging and everything about it, the formula, how it sits on the skin, you can still see some of the glow through. Um, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, it feels light. If you like the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, you will really like that foundation. Uh, well, you will really love this foundation. I think you should give it a try. Um, what else did we try that was new? I feel like that was like the main thing. Of course, the Fenty powder, you guys got to see that in action. It just kind of mattifies out the skin without adding any coverage. Um, um, what else what else I love this little eye palette it's especially this color right here I use this one and this one and I love how the eyes came out looks really really good um, the lip from Patrick Ta with a little lip combo I saw this type of lip combo from the Charlotte Tilbury which made me want to do it. Um, it was of course the Me Kiss and I think she used the um, Pillow Talk 3 Intense Liner. Um, so I think, I, well I not think, I love how this lip looks. It's gonna be perfect for the fall time. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed. I love how the look came out. The skin looks like skin. It's very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, the Patrick Ta foundation is a 10 out of 10. I would definitely recommend um, from packaging to formula. It's a very beautiful formula. And he looked out for us chocolate girls. So that's definitely always a plus. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that post notification bell so you stay up to date every time I upload and you don't miss upload. Bye guys.